Welcome to another day in the life of an American living in Trinidad. Today we are at Soka Brainwash, which is a huge fet during Trinidad Carnival. Uh, definitely the most expensive, like my gosh. I really wanted to go because I saw that Nicki Minaj went like back in the day before COVID and I wanted to meet Nicki. She was not there, unfortunately, but it was still a vibe. Like they had so much curation made into this like look at the colors of the carpet look at the decoration like the set designer did the motherfucking thing okay so we're going to this vet it is all inclusive like i said it was very expensive it was around 250 us to come they had really really good drinks um i of course was there super duper early because i'm an early bird and Word to the wise, if you're going to a Trinidad fete or Trinidad party, um, Caribbean people... Is it alcohol? Yeah, 5%. Oh. Okay, uh, maybe a little later. Am I supposed to draw, draw on this? Yeah. Come two hours late, okay? Like, so this lady gave me some white paint. So, of course, I had to leave my little signature on the damn thing. Had to draw my autograph okay i had to autograph this thing and my butt's looking so amazing today like omg this outfit was from pretty little thing if you want to see more outfits like this you know i have a shop at shop gabby Faye on instagram check it out in the caption but anyways i love when a big girl dresses sexy for her body type so that's me uh and aren't i so cute okay gabby gabby gabs so of course my bestie came with me which is my camera stand and i had to take some really good pics for the event <laughs> baby um we had to scope out the place right so it was western theme hey guy it was western theme so that's what we did we went and did the western theme thing this guy has a whole horse on his back okay he went in the cowboy hats they actually gave us free cowboy hats if you got there early enough so you know i have to go for the freebies i got a cowboy hat i got like a little bag a backpack i got a cute cowboy boot drink holder it was like a cup that was cowboy boot this is the first time i've gotten mexican food in uh trinidad because nowhere else do they have mexican food <laughs> I know y'all want to see me shake it. Well, if you keep watching the rest of this video, you'll see me bust a couple moves. I will say that the bathroom facilities here were immaculate. I mean, they have outside mirrors where you can see everything. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Like, oh, this is my little cowboy hat that they gave me for free, and it's so cute. <laughs> So like I said before, coming early comes with its perks. I got all the freebies. It ran out pretty fast. So if you got here later, you got none of it. And I got my spot on the dance floor. <laughs> Start it up! One! Get ready to box! Two! Get ready to box! Listen, you're not eating your food! Come to the front line. So these guys on sticks, they're called the Moco Jumbies. Every Caribbean island calls it something different, but in Trinidad, they call them the Moco Jumbies, which is a staple during carnival season. They're one of the carnival characters. In Haiti, they call them Bao. I know this because my dad's Haitian. But Trinidad, I was a little concerned for them because they were doing high kicks and flips. And I'm like, bro, do you want to fall? I was scared for him. I was scared. But they're professionals. They did really great. Yes, sir. Ready up. At this point, the place was getting a little rowdy and a little crazy. Like, people were pouring in. 
when I tell you they had people coming in even as I was leaving because I had another fet to go to and that's the thing with Trinidad Carnival there's like five fets that you could go to per day but you gotta pace yourself sometimes honey you gotta pace yourself <laughs> I told y'all before I came to get my pics to get my videos to remember the moment and shake a little booty but people were getting in the way honey shaking my booty doing my thing having a great time because honestly you can have a fun time by yourself i must say um definitely people were staring i have no shame obvi that's why i do this and there were actually people coming up to me to borrow my camera my well borrow my camera stand and i let them because you know sharing is caring a tip i would recommend for this vet is definitely bring a jacket because it got cold super fast when the sun started going down because this area in particular is very windy and I just did not expect it because it's boiling hot during the day but at night when the wind comes and you're scantily dressed oh yeah you're gonna freeze your bum bum So this is my new friend and this island is so small because I literally saw him yesterday. I met him yesterday at AM Beach and now he's at Silk and Brainwash and we're besties again. Overall, how did I feel about Soka Brainwash? Was it lit? Was it worth it? I would say for me personally, my taste, I prefer juve type events. I prefer wet fets. I want to get down and dirty. I want people to spray me down with paint and powder and water. You know, pretty fets are cool, but... I can do that another time, you know, like I if I'm gonna go to Trinidad another island to do a carnival Then yeah, I want it to be like something different something that I don't get to do in the state something that I've never gotten to do before And that's why I would say I would do juve. I would do ambush I would do the wet and stink and dutty fets over Soka Brainwash, but Soka Brainwash was a cool experience I'm so glad I got to go at least once, but I probably won't do it again <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye!